Leatherman got so close to making the Skeletool the perfect minimalist pocket tool. There's just that one thing you gotta change. Hey there, welcome to Gainer Flight. I'm Joshua, and today I wanna to talk to you about the Leatherman Skeletool and why I think it is one of the best minimalist pocket tools on the market, except for one thing that I wish that they would change. Thankfully, you can. Let me show you. So the Leatherman Skeletool has been around for quite some time. It's a seven-in-one multi-tool that is small enough to fit in your pocket, although it does come with a belt pouch if that's how you prefer to use it. But I really like it because it's, its form factor is small enough that it easily slips into my pocket, but allows me to have those critical tools that I need when I'm out and about and don't have a tool bag or toolbox with me. It's a seven-in-one tool. There's needle nose pliers, regular pliers, wire cutters, obviously the knife, there's a Phillips bit driver and a flathead bit driver, and then a bottle opener slash carabiner. And I really think Leatherman did an awesome job putting this together. Again, it folds up super small, fits super easily into my pocket for everyday carry, barely notice it's there, and I use the tools all the time. Bit drivers for driving in screws. Um, I often use the flat screwdriver for prying open paint cans, uh, because you know when you just have a pocket knife, oftentimes it becomes a pry bar and you know you shouldn't be using your knife as a pry bar. And so when you have a flat bit driver, you can use that as a pry bar instead of the blade and save that cutting edge for things that you need a sharp blade for. Now the only problem that I had with the Leatherman Skeletool when it came from the factory is with the bit drivers. So what it comes with bit-wise is a number one and a number two Phillips, and the other bit has a quarter inch and a 3 16 inch flathead. All well and good, right? Except the way that it works is that you have to fumble around with these two items and the tool to switch between Phillips and flathead. And to me, it was becoming cumbersome. If I wanted to switch from the flathead from prying open a paint can over to screwing in something on a deck board that I walked past, I'd have to remove one, pull out the other from the handle, switch them over, put it in. It was time, it was inconvenience. And honestly, after dropping a bit or two in the grass and having to search for them, I decided I wasn't gonna do this anymore. So that's my one gripe with the Skeletool is that the bits are either both Phillips head or both flathead. Thankfully, Leatherman sells replacement bits. Now these replacement bits are a three pack and on one side, it's a number one slash number two. So it, it gets bigger as it goes up Phillips head and then a 3 16 flat on the other side. And I've decided for me, what works best is to keep one of these bits in the tool. So I have a Phillips on one side and a flat head on the other side. Then I keep a second one in the handle in case this one ever gets lost. But honestly, that, that dual Phillips number one, number two bit has worked for everything that I could ask of a, a small screwdriver. And the 3 16 flat head is working for everything as well. And so a three pack of these replacement bits was about $5. Unfortunately, I couldn't find them on any major website, so you have to order directly from Leatherman, in which case the shipping almost doubles the entire price. But I found that the way that I use it and the way that I use the scale tool, that it was worth paying the price of the replacement bits and the shipping to get them. Because now, when I need to switch between Phillips and Flathead, all I have to do is depress a little lever, pop it out, flip it over, put it back in. There's no bits to mishandle. It's all positively in one hand or the other. You flip it over, you put it back in. I don't need to be flipping it out, pulling it from the other handle, trying to get it out that way. It just works better. Now I will say, I have had one other issue with the Leatherman Skeletal. Tool. I was using it on a lawnmower, pulling out a counter pin, and I snapped the pliers. And so I thought, oh, well, Unfortunately, I have, don't have the pliers in me, so I just ran to the shop and grabbed a dedicated set of pliers. However, I got to try out Leatherman's warranty. All you do, you hop on the website, fill out the form, send the tool in, and designate if they cannot fix it, would you like them to replace it? You know, because sometimes knives have a sentimental value and you want the exact product back. Send it off to them, and in about 10 days time, I got the fixed plier head back. They just popped off the pliers, put new ones on, and I got my tool back under warranty. All I had to pay for was shipping to Leatherman's repair facility. So if you gained some value from this video, you think that the replacement bits are something that should come on the Leatherman Skeletal tool like they do some of the other multi-tools from the get-go, having Phillips on one side, flathead on the other, so you could easily just switch it around without having to swap out bits, leave me a comment down below. Show me some appreciation and consider subscribing to the channel. Until next time, I'm Joshua. You've been watching Gander Flight. Take care, pay it forward.